All right, let's get it started. So in this video, I'm going to be covering this hardware setup for the home office, basically working from home, two monitors, a laptop, a port replicator, keyboard, and mouse. In terms of internet connectivity, I'm going to be using wireless network, but there's going to be options here as well for wired too. So let's have a look at the hardware first. First, we have a laptop, which in this case is Dell Latitude 5400, but other models such as Lenovo and whatnot have similar capabilities. So just in case you have something different, this video is also for you. On the left side of the laptop, we have a power port for charging, USB port for data, video, audio, charging as well, and USB type A, which is a basic port for keyboard, mouse, and other peripherals. And on the right, you have Ethernet port if you want to use wired internet connectivity, HDMI if you want to connect to the monitor without port replicator or TV, two USB standard type A ports for all your peripherals, headset or microphone port, and a micro SD card reader to read the micro SD cards. Next is the port replicator, looks like so from the back. On the left, you have line out, you have two display ports, connectors here where we're going to connect the cables from the monitors in order to provide video. It has HDMI, USB type C, which is audio video as well, as well as charging other devices, USB type A, which is standard USB for keyboard and mouse, ethernet connector, again, if you want, don't want to use the one on the laptop and the power connector, which is just a barrel connector again, same as on laptop. On the front of the port replicator or docking solution, you have USB type C port, USB type A and audio headset. So pretty basic, but it's handy to have because the more the merrier. And last but not least, we have a button on the top of this device, which basically gonna allow us to switch off and on the laptop without opening the lid of the device. So the whole use case scenario for the sport replicator is basically to connect one cable to the laptop and then port replicator is going to deal with other connections such as monitors, keyboard, mouse, you name it, which is pretty handy. And it charges too. The charging and all the power provided to this port replicator by this barrel connector, which is 180 watt charger. Next are the monitors, look like so. Not too expensive, these are Dell P2419H models. They're really nice because they rotate, swivel, tilt and whatnot. And they have quite a bit of connectivity on the back. So in terms of connectivity going from the bottom, you have two standard USB ports. In order to use which you need to connect USB B cable, which is provided in the box with the monitor. It has a VGA display port, HDMI and power connector. Display port is what we're gonna to use to connect it to the port replicator and to use it on this laptop in this video. This monitor also has some controls for the in-monitor menus, which I'm not gonna cover, and the power button on the bottom right corner. And last but not least, on the left of the monitor, you also have another two USB ports. In case you received a brand new, it looks like so in the box, so three parts. It has the stand, which basically is this one arm, and a base which secures like so, and there's only one screw to do. You don't need any, any screwdrivers or anything like that, just tighten by hand, and that's done. Keyboard and mouse is just a standard wired keyboard and mouse that I'm gonna use in this video, connected via USB. The display port cable is gonna provide connectivity to the two monitors, it doesn't matter which way you're gonna connect it, and it has a power lead like so, which also known as kettle lead. And obviously we would need some sort of an extension lead, which is gonna allow us to connect the three power, co power connectors or power plugs in order to power all the devices here. Now, before we begin, we're gonna do some cable management on the monitors via the provided port. Then we're gonna rotate the monitor 90 degrees in order to connect everything up. And by everything, I mean just the power cable and the display port cable. You can also use USB B port if you need more USB connectivity, that's optional. Now, once that's done, your setup should look something like this, which is basically two monitors on the desk with four cables, two cables each, one for power and one for the display port. The port replicator is gonna receive other ends of display port cable. You're gonna plug them in like so. You can use HDMI and USB-C as well for video signal, which is not covered in this video. Next, we're gonna connect keyboard and mouse to the provided USB ports. These are the blue squarish ports on the back. 
and these are called USB type A. And last but not least, we're going to provide power to the whole device because it needs to be powered because it's going to be charging a laptop via one cable that we're going to connect shortly as well. And there you have it. Now, before we enjoy everything, we obviously need to connect it to the laptop and provide power to the whole setup. To do that, we're going to use the left side of the laptop. We're going to connect the USB-C cable like so. USB-C cable provides all the charging capability here. Then we're going to plug everything in the extension lead and get it ready to be powered on. Once the power is provided, the cable on the laptop is going to light up like so. And if it didn't power automatically, you're just going to press the button on the port replicator or the dock. And that's pretty much it. That's your setup. Now I'm not going to be covering operating system or anything like that in this video. However, I'm going to give you some handy tips in terms of when you're in Windows 10, how to manage these displays if they're not showing to you correctly. So first, there's going to be a couple of shortcuts like Windows key and P. What that's going to do is going to show you this menu on the screen. We're going to allow you to extend the monitor, basically allowing each monitor to become individual screen. You can have the laptop lid closed at this point. You might also want to go to display settings because here you're going to be allowed to switch the monitors around and choose which monitor is the main monitor. You would know what I mean if you connect the monitors in the wrong way, so right to left and left to right. And once that's done, everything else is up to you. Your setup is ready to use. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Stay safe, stay active, and do your best working from home. Good luck.